Yo, what a dooski, Teddy Brewski. What's the motherfucking deal, Shaquille O'Neal? What's the word, Larry Bird? Back with another one, man. It's your boy Reactions. Remo's Reactions TV. And, uh, you know, before I start this video, I want to take time to thank all the new subscribers coming through, showing support, showing love. If y'all got anything going on where I can, you know, make sure that shit reciprocal, let me know, man. And, and, and support y'all. Any businesses, promo, anything y'all got going, let me know. You hear me? Um, shit, but the goals have changed, man. You know, we, we, the first goal was 1K. We reached that. YouTube has monetized me, y'all. So good looking, man. Um, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm official YouTuber now. So, um, with that being said, the goals have changed. You know what I mean? We try and reach 5K, 10K, and then we're going to spike that bitch up to 985K. Can you hear me? Followers and subscribers. And uh, that's the goal, man. You know what I mean? But um, this 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 joint here, we are gonna hit him. Little Dirk just got booked by the feds, and um, you know it's just a re. I'm react. I'm reactions, man. So what I do, I take other people's content, react to their content that they react to, get my opinion, whether it's against theirs or 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 no. And uh, y'all get in the comments, and and, and y'all might see shit we don't see. You feel me? Or or give an angle that motherfucker don't think about. You know what I mean? But that's what I do, man. So, <clears throat> Lord Dirk, man, like, about to see, man. Shout out to Poetic Flacco for this content. This is shit. Arrested, and it's there, really content, bad news for Dirk. Folks, listen up, bro. Lil Dirk is going to spend the rest of his life in prison. They ask me on the B and T and shit. I say the fans. And if you want to know why, I'm on phone, keep watching this video. You. So, by now, we know that OTF members were just recently indicted today for the murder of Quando Rondo's cousin, Little Pop. They used to say, but you also mentioned a song. They'd be like, they be singing Sly for Vaughn. I think they trolling me. Yo, by the way, that song is fire. I ain't gonna lie. For reason, I just don't see them comments no more. Sheriff said he's pulling out a man who had been shot in an SUV. Some odd reason. I don't know. Might be the order. <laughs> Savannah rapper Guando Rondo, a passenger in that store. You be seeing comments a lot? They kind of chilled out a little bit. Why? 23-year-old was taken to the hospital where he died. Now, the members who were indicted for this murder that's current. Mm-mm-mm. You said they be in the comments. Nigga said, do you see him in the comments anymore? Pay attention, y'all. They indicted because there are more yeah, indictments to come. Calm down. The members who are currently hoodie, indicted are Kayvon it's London Grant, a.k.a. Cuz, a.k.a. Body, DeAndre Dontrell Wilson, a.k.a. OTFDD, Chief Jones, a.k.a. Flocka, David Lindsay, a.k.a. Brown Eyes, and Asa Houston, a.k.a. OTF Boogie. On August 18th, Quando Rondo landed in L.A. with his team. His sister was with him, his cousin Lil Pop was with him, and they was having a grand old time. Now, when Quando Rondo first landed in L.A., he did the age-old tradition in hip-hop, which is tap in. Now, Quando Rondo has affiliation to a crib set in L.A., so when Quando Rondo got to L.A., he... T Allegedly, that crip set is the rolling 60s. So when you go to L.A., you tap in for protection, and you're a rolling 60, you tap in with the rolling 60. Who runs shit in the rolling 60s? Tapped in. Now, who he tapped in with, we don't know, but... You know, it's not out of the ordinary to tap in with your own gang who is in the city that you're currently in. So Quando Rondo tapped in. And magically after Quando Rondo tapped in, Lil Durk and them had his drop in location and what hotel he was staying at. Now, it's still unclear how OTF got Qu I'm going to tell you what I think. And this is just my opinion. You heard me. Can y'all hear me? So look, boy, go there. You tap in with Big U. 
Big U, like, yeah, I got you. Snatched the bag from him. Old Tom, it's a bigger bag over there, OTF bag. Yo, I'm hit the, da, 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 I got the drop on boy. He's going to be out here on this day. He said he needs some help. He needs some potato. Send, send your folk. <clears throat> so he got two bags in one. That's just what I think. Rondo, Rondo, exact location, hotel, and itinerary. Maybe it's a coincidence that they got it immediately after he tapped in with the Crips in L.A. Maybe it's a coincidence. But well, what we man. do know is shit. shortly after Quando Rondo got back to Savannah, Quando Rondo took to his Instagram to drop his flag and say he no longer messed with the gangs that he was affiliated with because they F with the opposition. Hmm. I want, let's not ponder on things that we can't figure out. Let's move on. Immediately after they found out where Quando Rondo was, they were in a rush to get to L.A. They were booking flights immediately, booking private jets, booking cars, booking everything immediately and recruiting whoever they could recruit to get to L.A. on go. Now, the reason why they were in such a rush to get to L.A. was because co-conspirator one, who's listed as the head honcho, put out a bounty on Quando Rondo's head because of the conflict that led to King Von being killed. Co-conspirator one is obviously Lil Durk. Lil Durk is the head honcho. Lil Durk is the one who put the bag up after King Von passed away because he's the one who got the bag to put up. And Lil Durk is the one who authorized the OTF credit cards. It's his label is his company. And the OTF credit cards were used to book the flights for all the co-conspirators who made their way to L.A. to murder Quando Rondo. So they all got... So... In a nutshell, you left a motherfucking digital paper trail. Man, we gonna do some shit, my nigga. Like, you fly him out on a private jet, different book. You book everything on a card that's connected to you. Hotel and rent a car that y'all pulled the jook the jokes in. I don't get it, man. What the? Out to L.A. Really? They all hurried and scurried to L.A. like ants. They got there. They got situated, got their what? firearms, got their ski masks, got their cars, everything they needed, hotels booked. And they were on the phone communicating in code about meeting up. And they all met up at Quano Rondo's hotel that they knew Quano Rondo was going to stay. Now, they just didn't know Quano Rondo's hotel. They also knew when Quano Rondo was going to leave the hotel and where Quano Rondo was going in his itinerary. Were you born between 1969 and 1979? If so, you can get $500 to spend at Nike completely free. And I so they're in the white BMW. Quano Rondo is obviously in the black Escalade. So they are literally stalking Quano Rondo, following him around, trailing him. Now, Quano Rondo is either very dumb, very stupid, or he hasn't been a street dude for too long, right? Because usually if I see a vehicle trailing me, and I'm a civilian, but if a vehicle is trailing me, I don't care if it's for two blocks, bro. Right? This is when I put the four right turns to a test. There are three right turns to a test. Because if I make three right turns and you're still behind me, bro, well, you know, then you're following me because we just went in the loop. But Quando Rondo, who wasn't paying attention, probably in his phone talking to the host, and he missed it. So when Quando Rondo and them got to the gas station, probably looking for some gas, some Zaza, all right, a Swisher, you know, they got there, they parked. And then when they parked now, the OTF members parked in the alleyway, hopped out, and started busting at Quando Rondo. Now, Quando Rondo was inside the vehicle. His homie was out the vehicle. So his homie got it hit. Could have been Br is he the big but Quando Rondo, baby. fortunately, didn't get hit. So OTF members essentially right. missed their man. They got Quan Rondo's cousin, but they missed Quan Rondo and didn't really take out Quan Rondo. Now, afterwards, they went to a food spot to speak about exactly how the money is going to be paid out, how it's going to be divided, and food who's getting what. Follow. And after this dinner, they all went back to Chicago. They all left immediately and went back to Chicago. 
Now, Loder was in the clean, right? There was nothing tying Lil Dirk to this other than an OTF credit card. And Lil Dirk made sure, made sure to let them boys know, hey, bruh, when you book it on plane tickets, bruh, even though you're using the OTF credit cards, do not book those tickets using any name that I'm associated to. Now, the reason why we know Co-Conspirator 1, a.k.a. Lil Dirk, why... Yo, the name we use the credit card is automatically affiliated, affiliated with you. <laughs> Don't use a name. What the fuck you mean, man? What? It come back to you. It's your credit card, Goofy. He told that the Co-Conspirator 3, the unidentified Co-Conspirator, who's probably cooperating, the reason why he told that person that was because that person was who booked the private jet for OTF Diddy. Make sure and that Dirk is making that person know, hey, bro, don't book that private jet Working under my phone. name, my family name, or anybody associated with me, bro. Keep me completely message. out of this 100%. So when everybody got back, OTF Diddy was who received the Locked payments, and the he's the story. one who was tasked with making sure everybody got paid and everybody was settled. So Lil Dirk don't get involved, and Lil Dirk can... Be completely out of this. The plan almost worked. But like most empires that fall, bruh, niggas started snitching. And that takes us to our guy called OTF Jam. OTF Jam was arrested at 17 years old for an attempted murder. And he spent 12 years in prison and got out March of 2022. A couple months before Quana Rondo's cousin, Lil Pop, was murdered. It's currently unclear exactly what OTF Jam role was in this low pop murder. But what we do know is OTF Jam was affiliated some way, somehow. Now, after the murder, everybody got paid. Everybody was good. Everybody was having a good old time. And the feds essentially had zero leads. They didn't know where to go. And it felt like they were going to get away with this body. However... March of 2023, a couple months after the Lil Pop murder, March of 2023, OTF Jam was arrested for another gun case, right? An unrelated charge. He was arrested on, you know, on a routine he, he firearm charge. Now, yo, when OTF yo, Look at this nigga forehead, yo. That shit look like how I seen Rockman. Get this shit Rockman like I seen Rockman. God damn, this shit. That shit got dents right here, like two dents coming down, like this shit come down like yeet. No, 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 no. The egg go yeet. Yo, what the fuck wrong with boy? Like he hit but the hit butt champion of the world type nigga. You hear me? Yo, Andy tell it. You got you got dirt book, dude. So we don't got no love for you over here at Remo's Reaction TV, man. Yo, your fucking forehead is out of pocket. I ain't gonna hold you. Then went to jail in March. OTF Jim said, hey, bro, I'm not about to do another 12 years. I'm tapped out. So the feds came to OTF Jim, had a conversation with him, and after that conversation, the feds had enough to build this RICO against the So OTF after Jim went bad and told, wow. well, that right there was all the feds needed. And the feds got all people to start telling and start explaining exactly what happened and who called the hit and who was there and who took the trip and who paid for the credit cards and the feds had everything they needed. Now, apparently Lil Dirk wasn't caught by surprise. Lil Dirk already knew that OTF Jim had told. As a matter of fact, Lil Dirk was expecting for everybody to get arrested at his birthday bash concert in Chicago. Wait, like what? he was expecting for arrest to happen that night. They just didn't happen. Nobody got arrested. The feds probably was going to wait for the peace treaty to happen, have the whole big moment. The feds probably thought, okay, that's probably too hot. Let's do it another day. <coughs> and, a, and a day or two later, <laughs> folks got arrested for the murder of Lil Pop. <coughs> but the gains are pumping. Yeah, the market's closed. Futures don't sleep in the after hours, bro. And to be honest, Lil Durk kind of told on himself as well. Lil Durk went on interview who's talking about, I don't hear Slap of no more. I wonder why. Lil Durk sampled Quan Rano saying, no, no. 
crying after Lil Pop passed away on the same side. Lil Durk is shouting out the California killers and shooters. Yo, Lil Durk calls this on himself. Now, I believe, well, <laughs> the indictment, I mean, lays it out, bro. Lil Durk is going to get indicted as well. It's not a if, it's a when. And when he does, man, you know, this is going to be used as, you know, just, you know, just a lesson, man, to young black men in general, bro. All right, all right, you know, ego. All right, all right. We get it, Flacco. Shout out to Flacco, but the ending is terrible. Uh, Remo's reaction TV, man. It's another reaction, man. Like, Dirk is booked. He's cooked. And, and you know what I mean? It's, it's just, like, if he's going to be doing dickhead shit, then be a little bit smarter, dog. You know what I mean? And I'm pretty sure you use a very intelligent individual. You knew better, man. You got too many people relying on you to be worrying about upholding some street shit. The most street shit you could have did was make sure Von Peoples was cool, make sure his mom, all his family members was straight. Like not all, but you know, make sure motherfuckers straight. You got a million, throw them a million. You know what I mean? You ain't had to do all that, but that's just my reaction, my opinion. You know what I mean? Make sure y'all hit that like button, comment, subscribe, get down in the comment section. Let me know what the fuck y'all think, because y'all voice voice y'all opinions, man. You know what I mean? Remo's Reaction TV. I love y'all. Y'all have a wonderful fucking day. Straight up.